Hey everyone, um, today I was going to show you uh, this Twitter bot that I made. Um, it interacts with the Twitter API and makes posts. So, um, what this is doing is uh, my favorite book series is called Malazan Book of the Fallen, um, and this is the, the bot account. Um, and what it does is, so this is the final output. Um, it's putting quotes, famous quotes, or the, some of the best quotes from the series and I'm just posting like one a day or something. Um, this is the code, it's very simple, so I just thought I'd talk you through what goes on and then if you wanted to make your own you could do that. So, um, so yeah, you have, when you register a developer account with the Twitter API, you have to do like a very kind of short application just to explain why you're making a bot, why you need um, keys to access the API. Um, so yeah, you've got to do that. Um, maybe I'll put a link in the description. Um, just some debugging, um, and then Tweepy is um, a library which is, from what I understand, is a wrapper that goes around the, the official Twitter API, it just makes it easier to use, um, so that's what tw Tweepy is. Um, so this is how you set your authentication, um, and yeah, just setting it here. Then this was just checking that the authentication is working. And then if it doesn't, then print an error message. Um, this is collecting the API um, through the Tweepy wrapper, wrapper. Then here we have, I set up a list of quotes. Um, so what I've done is I have this Google Sheets, which is open to the public. Um, I shared it with people who belong to this Facebook group who um, are fans of the book series. Um, and then we're just like, people post them there and then I either put them here or they put them in themselves um, so it's just got the quote on the left and then it has uh, this column here which is the length um, of the tweet it was it is not really important but I just wanted to make sure keep an eye on how how long they were getting because um, obviously Twitter they need to be short so so I've saved the CSV to some arbitrary location I'm opening it um, the encoding needs to be set to this with a Google Sheets document. Um, I had some problems with it before, but if I set the encoding to this, then um, it opens okay. Um, so then I read the file using CSV, the CSV library, which I've imported. Um, I think this was my first time using the CSV uh, library, but anyway, I'm just reading it um, kind of like how I would open no a normal .text file, but, um, but yeah. Um, then I'm looping over every line within every for <laughs> I'm looping over every line within um, lines like uh, so so lines is a list of every line or every um, row so yeah I'm just looping through that um, I'm just showing this is so for each line within lines um, I'm checking the length of the potential tweet um, and then if the length of that potential tweet is less than 280 which I think is the character limit for Twitter then I'm adding that uh, potential tweet to the quotes list and then um, da -da -da. okay and then I'm going through the entirety of the tweet and I'm replacing because a lot of the quotes are posted with um, enters in to which act as new lines and that was potentially going to cause some interference or some problems so I just replaced all the new lines with space bars um, again this is one of my first things with like um, actually having a practical use for like replacing um, and space bar was the best because sometimes there would be like a full stop and then an enter and then it would start a new sentence, and when you don't replace it with a spacebar, it would um, this the grammar would be wrong. So um, space up spacebar seems to be the best replacement. So yeah, I'm just replacing that with a spacebar. So and then printing just to check that the quote the tweet looks okay. Um, so yeah, then the ah oh, wait, so I think I misspoke. Ah yeah, so any potential tweet, so all the potential tweets go inside the list called quotes. Um, and then it's actually down here that we 
select the um, the random the random tweet that we're going to select. So um, I think Twitter um, blocks duplicates in a certain time frame. So this is not the sup most foolproof um, program, but um, but anyway. So it, the tweet is assigned as um, whatever the random random number is, which is between zero and the length of quotes. Um, actually, this could be a bug. Just thinking now. Yeah, I think this is length quotes is meant to be length quotes minus one because I think this zero to length quotes would actually go to the number like one over the length of the list, I believe. Because I believe this random dot random is actually inclusive inclusive of the first number and the second number. So it's a small bug, but um, these things happen, whatever. Um, if it did randomly bug out, I would just rerun the script. So yeah, it's not super foolproof, but um, given that I've got 60 quotes, it's only going to happen one in 60 times, so it's not too bad. And then the list is going to get longer and whatever. But uh, yeah, <laughs> not uh, not very good, but it's okay. Anyway, prints the final tweet to the uh, screen just for you to read, and then this is the actual um, line of code that does the business. So interacts with the API, update status, the content being the tweet, and then it's done. So um, so yeah, I still have to manually run this script every day, like, or however often I want to post a tweet using the script, but um, yeah, I'm kind of happy with the output, so um, yeah, I just thought I'd share it with you. Okay, um, I hope you enjoyed, and if you want to make your own, um, you should be able to follow this code, it's on my github um, and yeah, um, I'll put a link for the twitter where to register register to make a twitter developer account and um, yeah, if you like sort of profound quotes maybe follow the twitter bot, it's malazanq and then yeah, I'll put any other link links you might need in the bottom, alright, see you next time